So yesterday, I wasted about two hours of my day trying to create a simple project in the Blackmagic Cloud. So I've got my own cloud account in there. I just wanted to create a project and it said, fail to create projects, check your network. There was nothing wrong with my network. I could even open old projects in the cloud on both of the DaVinci Resolve setups that I've got here. I went home, tested it on my MacBook Pro, which is on a completely different network, and I got the same issue. So I'm gonna share with you the fix. It's really simple, but I couldn't find much online about it. So let's go into DaVinci Resolve. Let's go down to the project library. And in here, you've got the choice of local, you've got network, and you've also got cloud. So this is the Blackmagic Cloud. So I've got an account in there, and that allows me to create projects and they sit in the cloud in a single project library. This was the issue I was having. I was trying to create a new project in the cloud and it just kept saying, cannot create new projects or whatever, and please check your network. The reason for this error was nothing to do with my network. Let me show you how simple this is to fix. So I'm staying in cloud. I'm gonna close this down. And when you're in cloud, you get this cloud icon down here. I'm gonna click on this. And there's a series of icons at the top and the end one here takes me to my portal on the web. So this is my Blackmagic Cloud account. Now I've got the first level of paid, which is $6 a month. And this allows me to have a project library and in there I can have as many projects as I want. So it's fantastic for me. You can upgrade that to have um, storage attached to it as well. If you want to actually start sharing proxies and actual media, you can do that as well. There is also a free account in there. The free account, please note that it doesn't let you create projects. It just gives you an account. So I've got the basic level $6 a month and it works great for me. So in here is all my projects. Let me show you how I fix this. Go to the settings up here. You need to go to your account and go to manage plan. And all I had to do, I can't show you what it did look like because I've already upgraded it, but I was in the beta version of this. So all I had to do is press upgrade plan. I chose the same plan that I'm already on, so the $6 a month one, and it took me out of the beta version, and then I could happily create projects. It was as simple as that. So I could read my old ones, I just couldn't create. So this is a really easy way of managing that. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do an episode on the cloud and how it works. I could do a step-by-step -step video on exactly how it works and how I'm using it in my professional workflow. And yeah, just put something in the comments and let me know if you even know what the Blackmagic Cloud is. And I'll happily do that for you. I also just want to give a quick shout out to James Willett, who's a great colorist, a really good friend of mine, because he gave me the answer to this. I spent a couple of hours scouring the internet and checking my network cables and all that stuff. In the end, I just phoned him and he knew straight away what it was. So he's also got a YouTube channel, by the way, so check that out. I'll put links to that in the description. It's James Willett Color on YouTube. He's got some great little videos on there. I hope that's helped. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.